what you talking about now, Saint? I don't know, but you're going to get some nuggets out of it, though. But first, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn that bell on. There's a new video series dropping every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a random jam session whenever I'm in my bag. You do not want to miss out. Also, be sure to check out my books, man. The link's in the description below right along with my vegan class if you're trying to go plant-based and stay plant-based. I'm telling you, it works. Oh, and lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore just underscore seen underscore. The nuggets I don't put over here, I put over there so you can always always get me when you need me but you ain't really coming for all of that peace love knowledge and freedom i mean so this all now ties in full circle right so they tell you that you only 36 i mean 30 10 percent of your consciousness which is 36 degrees 36 degrees stops and doesn't extend beyond your person your um your solar plexus chakra you feel what i'm saying before your solar plexus chakra you now have to in order in order to get to your solar plexus chakra you have to overcome fear you have to overcome guilt and shame right if you don't get if you don't get through the shame, like you know, it's crazy. So, mastering the fear, mastering the fear will then make you um, feel guilty. It could make you feel guilty, but if you accept if you accept that guilt, then you accept the shame that comes with it, and you feel the shame because you think that that guilt is who you are. You feel me? So, whatever it is that you fear, whatever it is that you are afraid of, whatever it is that has you bound to this world to feel like you know. You're nothing if you accept, if you continue to accept it. Until you let that shit go, you'll never know who the fuck you are. This is like knowledge itself is not just about history. It's not just about understanding, like, you have to understand personal identity. You know? You have to understand your personal identity. Until you understand that shit. The solar plexus chakra is very, very important. Until you understand that shit, you can't, you, you can't function at the higher modalities of consciousness and thought. Like, don't, don't think... I'm not on no shit like, oh, consciousness automatically makes you smart. It makes you a genius. Nah, it don't. You, you know, it's not, it's not, it has nothing to do with information. It's a lot of motherfuckers with a lot of information that are still on root chakra. They still fear shit. You feel what I'm saying? You still feel shit. Fear shit. You know what I mean? But you got to continually re your, re un, reaffirm and re-understand your fears and understand what they mean for you and what they don't mean. You feel what I'm saying? Because sometimes you feel you can fear shit that you won't even supposed to be fearing, but a motherfucker convince you to fear. You feel me? Like, it's collective that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of black folks, a lot of melanated people fear rats. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers go crazy over rats. They're like, yo, this fucking rat is like, they, they get scared of them. But you gotta ask yourself, why do you fear rats? It's just an animal. It is what it is. It's just an animal, right? But then when you assimilate into a culture, right? And you and you constantly reaffirm that you assimilate to a culture that was almost eradicated by rats. You'll fear rats too, because you take on the mindset of that individual. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of the fears that we have ain't even our fears. They're supposed to be like the whole bubonic plague, that black plague. That didn't almost wipe out melanated people. That almost wiped out colonizers. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So you got to put that into perspective. How many fears do you have that were never yours? But you just fucked with a motherfucker long enough till you started fearing the shit too. But then again, is that your personal identity? See, this shit all ties in and this shit is all dope. So just a quick recap and shit because it's like, you know, I can go on and I can add more, but I don't want to add too much more. So we understand the first seven chakras that are in the body. The root, the, soul, the root, the sacral, solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the brow, and the um, the crown, right? Each one is associated with an element. Respectively, the elements are earth, water, fire, air, sound, thought, sound, light, and thought. You feel what I'm saying? Um, they're also associated with colors. Respectively, the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, black, blacker, blackness, um, double black, and triple blackness. You feel what I'm saying? Um... Each one of these chakras is associated with a varying degree of consciousness. The first nine are associated with multiples of eight degrees of consciousness. The root is eight, the, the root is eight, the sacral is uh, 16, the solar plexus is 24, and then, you know, so on and so forth. And they all carry the chakra in soccer consciousness that falls beneath it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, what else? What else did we talk about? What else did I say? Um, you have the root chakra associated with fear. I mean, it's not, not it's blocked by fear and it's associated with um, your, your foundation and your survival. You know what I mean? You're living, your, you know what I'm saying? Basic survival tactics. 
solar plexus, you know, your sacral is associated with, um, is blocked by guilt. It's associated with your emotions, your feelings, and your sexuality. Um, your solar plexus is, um, is by fire, associated with, um, with your personal um, your heart chakra is associated with, um, love, um, element of air. Your, um, throat chakra is lies, um, lies in your, you know, communication, your ability to express yourself. Um, your brow is associated with, you know, your inner vision, your inner wisdom, your intuitive, your intuitive nature, you know, it's blocked by illusion. And then your, um, crown is associated with your, um, earthly attachments and it's your ability to, um, be boundless from this world. And then the ones above that aren't blocked by anything, but they're associated with creative alchemy. Um, so, and then another, the other point you have your infinite consciousness and you have your finite consciousness, your infinite consciousness, your infinite consciousness is the square associated with the uh, masculine principle associated with 360 degrees of consciousness, your, um, and alchemical moments and your, um, your, the circle is associated with, with infinite consciousness, uh, 360 degrees still, um, the feminine principle and, uh, al alchemy. And then bringing the two together, you become an alchemist where you can square your circles and circle your squares. And understanding the chakras makes all of that.